everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Ask Faith segment. Okay, stay tuned as we continue with this new episode for this week. I'll be right back. Welcome back and let's go into the mail that was sent to us. So the first uh, question that was asked today, okay, this person is actually anonymous. Yeah, they didn't give us their name. Said, hello, Faith. I'm currently a high school student. And as you may or may not know, we have all been transferred to online school. Personally, it has been a bit difficult to adapt to this change. And I have been procrastinating a lot and falling behind on whole work. I have little to no motivation and need help picking myself back up. Do you have any advice for me and others who are possibly going through this? Okay. Well, our anonymous writer, thank you for actually reaching out to Ask Faith segment. The first thing you should do is to know your why. And also, I also want you to know that this pandemic is temporary. Everything will come back to normal. Okay? So how do you feel whenever you achieve your goal? You feel good, right? I want you to think back. Whenever you achieve your goal and you feel good, I want you to use that to motivate yourself. Okay? In terms of procrastination that you also mentioned, also know how to set your priorities straight know what to do first try to know what is you and make sure you do that okay so if you're watching and you're also a student you're finding it difficult to to do your um, assignment um, because of this online classes you're not motivated I'm telling you this is just temporary it's because of the uh, coronavirus issue of a team who is a new phase for everyone we quite understand the challenges that most students are passing through right now so I'm just trying to tell you and also to encourage you today to Make sure that you still focus on your studies. Make sure that you know, because, because before you start school, you have a goal, right? You should still go back to that goal and make sure that is what motivates you. All right? When you know your why, you'll be motivated. Okay? So I hope this helped you. And other students out there, make sure you listen to this program and you'll be helped. Thank you so much. So we are going to go to our next question for the day. Um... The next question is from Zora. Okay, she said, Hi, my name is Zora. I have five suitors that want my hand in marriage. I am confused. I don't know what to do. What is your advice? Five suitors? Whoa. Queen of the castle, Zora. All right. I know that would be very challenging for you to have five suitors. Of course, you'll be confused. You know what? You have to... First and foremost, if I were in your position, or if you're a Christian, pray for God to open your eye and you know give you wisdom to pick the right person. You know, if I were in that position, that is what I would do first. And again, also see, uh, try them, do something that you, if they have the quality of the kind of person that you want for, as a, uh, as your, comp you know, your partner, then you know, pick one of them. See if that person have the kind of character that, that matches what you're looking for in a man. Then you can go for it. And also, if you ask me, ask God to guide you, to give you that wisdom to be able to pick the best person. Because five, if you tell me, that can really be confusing. Okay? So, I hope this advice helped you. And I wish you the best in your selecting. All right? So uh, let's go to the next question for today. All right, uh, the next mail that was sent to us is actually to appreciate what we are doing. And this is actually coming from Audrey. It said, hi, Faith. I want to appreciate you for this program. It is awesome. Thank you for the tip you gave to me. It work. All right, Audrey, thank you very much for appreciating us. Uh, we'll keep doing what we are doing, and we are glad that we were able to help you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the fact that you were able to uh, send us a message to let us know if this program actually helped you. So we appreciate it. Thank you. 
So let's go to our next meal and see what we have for today. All right. So the next meal is hi i don't know this person is anonymous he says hi i have disappointed my parents big time i'm even ashamed to stand in their present and talk about what i did even thinking of running away but i love my parents what do i do all right i don't know what you did i don't know you are anonymous whatever it is that you did i have no idea but i'm going to just encourage you not to run away don't run away you know in your heart that that won't be good whatever it is that you've done okay that you are ashamed of meet your parents let them know so that that burden will be off your shoulder will be off your mind okay so don't run away i would advise you uh, or i would suggest to you to meet with your parents and share with them what you've done that is making you to be ashamed and also remember they are your parents okay do not run away all right i don't know what you've done i don't know if it is bad or i don't know what it is but you say you are ashamed of it so i will encourage you to go disclose to your parents all right so uh i, I make sure you make sure you speak to your parents about this issue all right thank you very much for contacting Axfit segment they sent uh, to us is from Jaden. he said hi faith i'm um, Jaden. i have been developing feelings for this girl in my class for a while now i told her countless times but she declined my feelings for her so for some time now i moved on and have been seeing someone else who loved me uh, uh, but now my crush is running back to me i still have feelings for her but at the same time I don't want to hurt my girl. I am so confused. Please help me. Okay, so your crush is running back to you. Please tell her you're taking. Okay, the first advice I'll tell you, just let her know that you're taking your no, you know, no vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. Just let her know there is no vacancy. When you needed her, she didn't want you. Now you have somebody, she wants you. It's not possible. You don't want to hurt somebody that love you back, right? So I would advise you, just stick to your heart. Follow the person that accepted you when you wanted them, okay? So or she's going to toy with your heart. Tell her love don't live here anymore. All right? Thank you very much, Jadine, for actually asking or sending your question. This is really interesting. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you next time. And everybody, I want to thank you for watching our Axway segment. Uh, this program will be coming to you every Friday. Please continue to support us. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember... You are not alone. Thank you. Bye-bye.